Hey guys, part of the crew here, and uh, I'm here with a commentary for Domination, um, which is essentially, uh, technically the new mode that Ubisoft introduced for Assassin's Creed 3. Um, and uh, I actually really like this mode. Um, it's it's a great um, substitute sort of for chest capture that they had in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, only over here, the uh, territories, uh, instead of having chests, they have territories, and those territories are set places. Um, and so, the way the game works, it's it's pretty simple. There are three different territories. Um, in the beginning, they're all uh, they're they're all neutral territories, and then once uh, someone from either team steps into one of the territories, it becomes theirs. Um, after that, uh, all you have to do is stand in the territory like I am now, wait for that little circle to fill all the way up, and then the territory becomes yours. Um, so you know. That, those are the basics of the game. Now, obviously, um, if you own a territory, you want to try to avoid having the other team capture it, so you kill anyone who enters the territory. Uh, and that's the, basic of the basics of the game. Um, and so, you know, currently I'm... The abilities that I have, Disguise, Wipe, and Pistol, here, pistol uh, is a defensive ability set, and so... I use it to defend the territories and kill anyone who uh, attempts to capture the area. Um, right here I decide to take the high point because uh, this this particular territory actually has some very nice um, it's a very nice place to attack. get roofed from the top. Um, I'm normally not a big advocate of roofing because a lot of times it, you know, you're gonna lose some points acting all obvious and things like that, but I locked the wrong person here. But um, in something like Domination, where your aim isn't to get higher points, it's alright. Um, I run around in this person and see them in the last second. One of your territories right here. is under attack. Um, so what is the goal of the game? If you look at the top, you can see um, a bar. Uh, with each side, you know, white and red. And so your goal is to get your side to push that little line uh, all the way to the other end, or at the very least past the halfway point. Um, and so, you know, that's again decided by how many territories you control. You can see the little arrows. And so we control two of the territories, they only control one. So currently the bar is being pushed away from us and toward the other team, and so we are winning. Um, you know, if the bar ends up going all the way over to the other uh, team's side, the game will actually uh, end early, and so it's not necessarily 10 minutes. Um, of course, the other team would have to be really bad to end up getting it to that point. And so if you capture all three of the territories, it's called Domination, hence the name of the game. Um, and so, you know, one of the problems with this is that if you're defending the territories, it does get a little bit boring especially if no one is coming to attack. So, right here, I am actually using the arrows and the icons to try to figure out what's going on. For example, I can see one of my teammates who gets stunned right here because of the plus button, and then he has a lock on another person who is running around capturing that territory. He, And then on the other side, I see two teammates capturing a territory which is why I don't make any attempt to go back to Territory C to attempt to save him, because I know B will be captured anyway. Um, and plus the guy over at C is doing a pretty good job. He stuns one of the people, waits a little while, captures the territory, and then Domination. kills the guy. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. He gets stunned. Um, but, you know, the whole time I'm, I'm just sort of sitting here waiting and watching at, to what's going on. Um, just to clarify the symbols, the little white arrows are my teammates, 
the lock symbols are a lock that my teammate has on the other on another person on the team um, and then of course there are the actual territory One of your territories letters is under I can see that this territory is going to be captured anyway because all of my other teammates are on that side you know I don't make any attempt to go save uh, territory B mainly because I've had a ton of bad experiences with leaving my territory and getting it captured as soon as I leave and so a lot of times uh, my mentality is once I'm out of territory unless I die I stick to that territory um, and you know later I die and I end up switching territories but for now I'm holding a and you know I'm doing a pretty good job especially considering no one is coming <laughs> Um, right, so my ability set, I have Disguise, wa uh, Wipe, and Pistol. The Disguise is sort of useful for uh, when there are a ton of people coming in, um, or players who I know are experienced, or someone who I know will come in with a smoke bomb, or, you know, seek out exactly who's at the defending the territory. Um, wipe is, again, for anyone who I think has smoke bomb. Um, and then the pistol is for when I really need to kill someone as soon as possible. Um, I know a lot of people are against using the pistol, but again, for, to me, it's like, don't use pistol, I totally fell for this decoy, don't use pistol if it's a game about points, because you're only ever going to get a maximum of 200 points out of using the pistol, assuming no variety. What I do advocate for using pistol is things like domination and artifact assault, where points don't matter whatsoever, and possibly manhunt, if um, if the other team is using Your the uh, running away bailing technique. You know, again, I'm sort of looking around, assessing the situation. I see people getting stunned, getting more stunned. There are a few locks. And so that guy actually has to flee before he can capture the territory. Your team lost a territory. I can see in the upper right that someone is nearby, so I give a look around. Uh, your territories I can recognize attack. the disguised persona because as soon as he stepped into the circle, the uh, the circle started filling up. Your team captured and so again, territory. the mode itself can get a little boring, but I think overall it's not only a good team game, but I actually enjoy defending the territories and even trying to capture them Your is, is pretty fun. And I like the way that Ubisoft handled the balance uh, on the little meter. It takes me ages to find this person. Um, She's actually behind me. Turn around. 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 There she is. And I just don't even bother. I just go and shoot her. A decision I will regret because now my pistol has an 85 second cooldown and I'm about to get an onslaught of people attacking. So go ahead and kill this person. And you can see, you know, a couple more people coming in in the upper right. One person is in close proximity, but I end up missing them. I try to climb up here to intercept that person. I think she tries to knife me, but fails. This person does knife me, but runs into me, so I kill her. They end up capturing the territory, and I get killed. So, at this point, they have domination, but their meter is on, on their side. So, right now, with, I believe, a minute left to go, they have a chance of winning, but only if they hold domination. Which, everyone on our team is doing their best to prevent. So, I know there's one guy at A, two guys at B, um, I think... Or, sorry, one guy at C, one guy, two guys at A, and I'm at B, there's no one else there. One of your territories is under attack. So again, for capturing territories, 
it's pretty obvious whenever you enter the circle, so I like to go in with disguise if there's someone there. If there's not, you know, you can say I entered my disguise up here. This person does not notice my disguise, so I go ahead and stun them, but the other person does. Not that it matters, we end up getting domination in the last 26 seconds. And so at this point, they don't really have a chance. Even if they do capture all three territories, I try to put on my gun here, I cancel it by accident. And then I get the sun. And killed. But uh that's that's domination. Um I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite game modes. Yeah, I, I do hope they bring it back for uh AC4. It's it's a good balanced game mode, I think. In terms of, you know, total mayhem versus actually being stealthy. So, you know, hope you enjoyed the little tips and tricks to domination and sort of getting to know the mode. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.